ਕਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੰਤੇ ਵੀ ਅਕੀ ਇਸ ਕਿਨੇ ਯੂ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਜਲਦੀ ਟੈਸਟ ਹੋ ਹੋ ਜਲਦੀ What is going on members of the barrio? It's John and I'm coming to you from Chunkanam, which is a Mayan village about 1 hour from Merida, and today I'm going to show you perhaps the most unique accommodations that I have ever booked. in my life. We are at Saknik Day, which is a spot that allows you to have Mayan palapas and spend the night right next to a Mayan village. We're going to be sleeping in hammocks. Enough talking. Why don't I just show you guys around? What's behind door number 1? This is our sleeping area. I would call it the bedroom except there are no beds. We are going to be sleeping in these hammocks. This is completely Mayan style, exactly how the locals would sleep. And here's the other one. Have a nice screened view of the backyard here. We're basically in the middle of nowhere, which is exactly what we wanted just to uh escape the daily grind a bit. There is no Wi-Fi here, which is a blessing, I think. The bathroom has a uh, most modern things that you would want. Electricity does have hot water. Shower. Tub's actually pretty nice. Hi mom. Now we are approaching the kitchen and Adriana is already testing out one of the many hammocks here. Yeah. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Muy a gusto. And if you look up every single little uh, place here has a palapa. This is a Mayan roof made with palm leaves. Not a real parrot. We also have a pool. So while this is off the beaten path, there's plenty of little luxuries on the property. Now I've got a real treat for you guys. As part of the stay here, you can organize this. We actually have a Mayan shaman who's going to be showing us a cleansing ceremony. I've never had anything like this done to me or really seen anything like this. So let's find out what it's like. You ready for this? You ready to be cleansed? Of course, I think it's a good time to do it because we're going to start a new year. Yeah, good point. Malu bila kitch kele yung u janete osh pul khoba ka koke chantela. My favorite part was when he was like beating me with the leaf. Um at first I found it kind of awkward, but strangely at the end, I think Adriana used the same word light. I feel really light right now. So whatever he did, I I hope will have some cleansing effect on me for the rest of my life. Un ritual también donde ustedes que van a estar acá en estas noches todos nos cuiden para que eh todo esté tranquilo, todo esté normal, todo esté en calma con todos ustedes. It's por eso que se hizo este ritual ahorita. It's very humid today, so we're going to check out this pool. Adriana is reporting that it is not just cold, but it is ice cold. Are you kidding? Are you serious? Uh, I'm not kidding. You have to feel it. Ah, it's not ice cold. That's like New Jersey cold. That's ice cold. It's not it's not it's not it's not Greenland. It is New Jersey. I'm from Mexico and we are in Yucatan, so <laughs> Here's the situation. Adriana and I have been invited by the caretaker of this place, Santiago, to celebrate the first birthday of his great granddaughter. So uh, we're heading to town to buy a gift. We're not going to film that. We don't want to film all day, every day here. So we're going to take a little pause and come back and check this party out. I didn't mean to do that. All right, you guys didn't miss too much. All Adriana and I really did the last couple of hours was lie around on hammocks reading books and we took a shower. Little drizzle right now. We are about to head over to the town to attend a 1-year-old's birthday party. We've bought some gifts and we also are ready with some flashlights. Oh, 
my eye, baby. It's not in your eye. Yeah. It's not even close to your eye. It's like here. But no, this is in your eye. Oh. Last time I vlogged like this was when we were in Hawaii, uh, biking back from a volcano, which was a great vlog. But it's it's been a while, so I got I got to get used to this whole flashlight system. We are very concerned about stepping on poop in the darkness. That is our biggest fear right now. Uh, I think in the small towns, the weddings are always in the basketball uh, court. court. And they invite everybody. So everybody can come. We are at the caretaker's house about to go to a birthday party. We're sitting, waiting for this party to begin. But so far we're loving the hospitality. Hospitality. I'm thinking in Spanish now, so I'm forgetting English words. Hospitalidad. Hospitalidad. hanging out at that birthday party and experiencing some amazing Mayan hospitality and eating a ton of candy. We're back at the Palapa and they're actually going to be delivering us dinner. This is something you can order here and we're going to be showing you what it's like. So this is chicken with rice and pasta and vegetables. I think they made it in northern stuff but if with, uh, I don't know how you call like an like, um, old oven with actually wood and fire because you can feel this flavor on the in soup. Like a smoky and, flavor? Like a smoky flavor, exactly. Now the hard part, guys. What is it going to be like to actually sleep in a hammock? I'm ready to bed when I'm with you. <laughs> I'll probably put that on the video. I've read that lying down diagonally is the best way to sleep in a hammock. So I'm going to be testing out this theory. I'm going to let you know how my night goes. I'll be super honest if I found this comfortable or not. And the vlog is not ending, by the way. We have a really cool activity for tomorrow morning. Okay. A little fall off. All right. All right, I'm kind of diagonal right now. We haven't had the busiest day ever. We just kind of lie around a lot, but I think I'm going to fall asleep sooner than later. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. I actually slept better than I thought I would. The trick with a hammock is finding a position that you manage to feel comfortable in and then try and maintain that position. So I actually slept okay. Would I do it again? Maybe, but it, it, it takes some getting used to. An absolutely beautiful day. I told you guys last night that we were going to be doing one more adventure. We're gonna be heading to three really cool cenotes that are pretty famous around here and our form of transportation is gonna be quite unique. So Santiago, he is our guide for today. He invited us over his house yesterday and uh, he's going to take us to the cenotes. This is one of his jobs. He also um, caretakes the property that you just saw. So he's the guy to look for. This horse here is going to be leading us on this to the cenotes on this old railway line. This kind of feels more like we're in a tuk tuk in uh, Thailand. We've made it to stop number one, and there's gonna be two different cenotes here. What I like best about this is that you literally cannot reach these two spots unless you have a local take you on a horse-drawn cart. That is part of the adventure itself. This is where the Mayans had ceremonies. First cenote, cenote Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz. We are certainly going into nature now, guys. First single day. Two, three. 
This one we literally just wanted to jump in to kind of help us wake up. We only had one cup of coffee today, so on to number two. This is the scenic way out. Wow. This might be the most unique cenote I've ever seen. He said it's 24 meters deep here, 80 meters deep there, and this little rope to hold on to if you're not a good swimmer. We're still debating if we want to jump in. Are you jumping in? I'm no? Not. You are. I'm creating a new activity called cenote walking. <laughs> yeah. Two down, one to go. Santiago told us that this railroad line that we're on is 200 years old. People actually used to take these on horses to get between different cities, including Merida. Last stop on the Cenote tour. For the first time ever, I'm going to attempt to fly my drone into a Cenote. We've got the best one for last. All right, members of the barrio, if you want to stay right here at Sakneet Day and have the same experience that Adriana and I just had, I'm going to put a link down below in the description and you can live like a Mayan for a day or longer. Santiago and all the people here have been so accommodating. I cannot recommend this place anymore if you're looking for a really unique experience. If you're new to this channel, I want to make sure that you're subscribed. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.